I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Hmm, agreed. I'd love to find a moment to put them all in order. Still, experiments come first. Well, on with the research. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any... unique abilities? Ones that don't exist in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? That was your best effort? Hmm... Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Ah, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking, as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine sprat? I've just finished preparing the recipe. Cooking? Paimon was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff. Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bets you're just hungry. That does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves. Mm-hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. How are we gonna channel elemental power into the food? Maybe try the willpower thing again. Where does it get these ideas from anyway? Let's just do it the old-fashioned way. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting, I mean, testing the results. Mmm, an average outcome experimentally, but you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? We just didn't know how to channel elemental power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. Not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel disheartened. And here's your portion. Enjoy. I can box it up if you like. You were paying attention. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. But anyway. Hey! You were being nice a second ago! But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. And you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? 
Uh, yes, I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway, moving on to the next experiments. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Animal Crystal Fly Elemental Extract and Electrohypostasis Powder. Paimon's barely finished eating and you want us to go gathering again? Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace them anyway. Though finding them would save me the hassle. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, a lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. So, guess we'd better take a look. Oh yeah, you could use elemental sight! Must be electrohypostasis powder. The extract of an animal crystal fly can only be animal elemental energy, right? This has got to be it. Still in one piece. Good thing the vial's so strong. Goodness, he managed to find them. Incredible. A thousand thanks. I'm wondering... This elemental site... This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a superpower, huh? Unfortunately, though elemental site is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. Only a never-before-seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity as one of us is just beginning. In essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Sucrose is doing? And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, could you see her then? So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Hmm... <sighs> then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me.